What if the key to curing cancer wasn't destroying cancer cells with chemotherapy, but unleashing your own immune system to do the job? In 2004, Sharon Belvin was only 22 years old when she was diagnosed with stage four melanoma. When chemotherapy failed to treat her cancer, her doctors offered her a last ditch chance, a clinical trial for a new kind of treatment. Instead of toxic drugs, this new therapy activated Sharon's immune system. The treatment was ipilimumab, now known as Yervoy, and was born from groundbreaking immunology research by Dr. James Allison. Dr. Allison discovered that T cells, immune cells that can fight cancer, have signals that act like breaks to stop them from attacking. Usually these breaks turn down your immune system after it has effectively cleared an infection or cancer cells. Dr. Allison's idea was what if you remove the breaks, the immune cells might fight the cancer. When Dr. Allison discovered the break molecule called CTLA-4, he was able to use this to develop the drug that would be ipilimumab. This clinical trial was the one Sharon was in and this new therapy made her cancer disappear. She's been in remission ever since. It just so happened that around the same time on the other side of the world, Dr. Tatsuko Honjo and his team were researching something similar. Dr. Honjo's team discovered that sometimes cancer cells co-opt break signals to stop T cells from attacking them. Together, these discoveries led to a new type of cancer treatment called checkpoint blockade therapy. Today, dozens of immune checkpoints are being explored. What started as one woman's last ditch hope has become a revolution in cancer treatment. Proof that sometimes the best weapon against cancer is already inside us. To learn more about life-changing immunotherapy and immunology research, visit immunologyexplained.org or follow us on social media.